Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing my memory spread and this is for the week of November 11th through November 17th. Um, we are getting close to Thanksgiving and I still have a couple fall kits left to use before we jump into Christmas kits. And um, for this week I have this really gorgeous rose gold foiled kit from Paper Blush Bar and it's so pretty. I love this artwork that she used and the foiling is just super gorgeous. Um, here are the eight full boxes and then we have a bow checklist here on the side. On this page, we have half boxes, we have some icons, um, habit tracker and sidebar stuff. We have some flags and then a really dainty weekend banner at the bottom. On this page, we have date covers, we have some bow check flags, we've got um, headers and some washi strips, A, I think this is like a quarter box or an appointment label, and I think these are just different sized washi strips in the corner. On this last page, we have the bottom washi, we've got some different sized like washi strips and flags, and then I think these are just um, some pattern headers and then a full notes box here at the bottom. Um, so yeah, this is the only page that is not foiled, and I'm kind of bummed because I really like having foiled in the bottom washi. I feel like it ties it together really nicely, but that's okay because there's so much other stuff that is foiled in the kit. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I want to go ahead and get started. I do want to pull in more foils, but um, I don't own a lot of rose gold foiled stuff just because it's not like one of the foils that I tend to gravitate towards, but we'll just kind of see what I can pull in. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started by placing down the bottom washi. For my bottom washi this week, I decided to pull in this rose gold foiled washi tape from Scotch Expressions. I think I just purchased this at Target, but I haven't seen it there lately, so I'm not sure if they still have it. Um, but I just thought it was a really perfect way to bring in more foils at the bottom um, because that's something I really wanted and the washi that came in the kit was not foiled. So I basically just laid down a strip of the foiled washi and placed the bottom washi of the kit right on top of it. And I just figured that was the easiest way to place that down. Um, and then once I finished with that on both sides, I moved to the sidebar. I first whited out the large hexagon in the top corner because the color of it did not match my kit this week. And then I decided to start from the bottom so that I knew how much space I had to mark everything I wanted. I first placed down a strip of washi and then I used the Monday through Sunday box with an important or dinners header, I can't quite tell um, what it says, and um, that's to mark my dinners for the week. And then I placed down a checklist that came in the kit with another header to mark my happy moments. I then used a habit tracker to track my working out, which I'm pretty sure I didn't do this entire month. And then on top of that, I used a header and then the full box with the quote that says, so very thankful. I then go ahead and place down all of the date covers for this week. I look through my stash and the only date dots I had with rose gold foil did not have this week's date on them. So um, I just ended up having to write in the dates myself. Moving to Monday, I first pulled in this really pretty lace rose gold foiled header, and that is from Rose Color Days. And then I used a flag from the kit with this rose gold foiled bow from Planning Like a Pro to mark that Monday was Veterans Day here in the United States. And then underneath that, I placed down a today header with a three bow checklist to mark some things that I did on that day. Um, because it was Veterans Day, we did have the day off. Um, so one of the things I did was get boba, and I pulled in this boba sticker from Plans with Vanessa. I then placed down a full box underneath that and then I used a half box to mark that we went and grabbed some lunch with some friends and I used a utensil sticker that came in the kit. At the very bottom, I pulled in this foiled flag that is from The Giving Girl and I think I got those quite a while ago but I rarely have a chance to use them so I was excited to pull them in and I use that to mark that I watch Gilmore Girls at the end of the night. Moving on to Tuesday, I first started by putting down a to-do header at the very top, and then I used this pumpkin spice everything script sticker. That's from Regina Laughs, and it's part of her fall bucket list sheet. I decided to add something above that, so I lifted it up, and I pulled in this arrow sticker from the kit with a coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I got my pumpkin spice latte that morning. Um, and then at the very bottom, I decided to first put down a full box because I already knew that's where I wanted it, and I actually switched it out later on, so you'll See that towards the end of the spread. Um, above that, I put down another lace header. I decided to use one every day for this spread. And then I pulled in another one of those foiled flags from the Giving Girl to mark that I watched more Gilmore Girls that night. Above that, I used a strip of washi with this stressed out mochi sticker that is from Mochi Kichi um, to mark that I got home really late on this day. Then above that, I used a half box with this IEP flag from um, Jador Planning to mark that I had an IEP meeting that afternoon. And then in the remaining space, I put down this diamond pen sticker. I think that's from Little Star Plans. And I just use that to mark a testing appointment that I had in the morning. 
So I decided to work backwards on this particular day so that I could see how much space I had to mark everything that I wanted. And then moving to Wednesday, I first put down a full box at the top, but it did take me a few tries to get it down because I think Paper Blush Bar cuts her boxes just slightly short um, compared to the Erin Condren boxes. And so I was trying to adjust it so that it would fit within the lines. And then underneath that, I put down another Rose Color Days header with a, um, I think it's a washi strip from the kit and a film clapper from Mandy Dreams to mark that I uploaded a plan with me that morning. I then went and grabbed some lunch off campus. I got some Thai food, which is like my favorite treat yourself lunch. And that little lunch bag sticker is from, I think it was from Magic Prince Co. It came in a little sampler. And then underneath that, I put down a half box with another IEP flag from J'adore Planning to mark another meeting that I had that afternoon. I cut down a strip of the bottom washi that I didn't end up using and I used this I Quit Mochi sticker from Mochi Kichi because I got home super late again that night. I don't think I got home till like 6.30 or 7 so I was basically at work for almost 12 hours and then at the end of the night as you could imagine I just had some me time and just chilled out because I just had a really long day and so I used this me time sticker from Regina Laughs with this arrow that came in the kit. Moving on to Thursday, I first put down another header from Rose Color Days, and then I cut up a um, bow check flag into two bows because I had two meetings that I wanted to mark, so I decided to mark them that way. Um, I then used a half box with another IEP sticker from Jadora Planning to mark an IEP that I had in the afternoon, and then I used a full box underneath that, and this is probably one of my favorite full boxes um, in addition to that flower one on Wednesday. I just think those are so beautiful and so perfect for fall. Underneath that, I used a flag sticker from the kit with a rose gold foiled bow. That's from Planning Like a Pro, and I used that to mark date night. And then underneath that, I used a piece of foiled washi with this grocery icon that came in the kit to mark that we stopped by Rite Aid to get something after our date night. I was so tired on this day, so I pretty much passed out on the couch when we got home. So I used the sleeping mask sticker from Planning Like a Pro to mark that. I adjust that washi strip a little bit so I could space it out better, and then I move on to Friday. So the first thing I did was I decided to um, place down a full box at the bottom and used a rose color days header on top of that. And then I moved back to the top of Friday where I started by putting down a today header with a washi strip and a coffee cup from Hazel Sticker to mark that I got my usual Friday coffee, which was so delicious and so necessary by the time Friday rolls around. I then decided to work backwards again because um, this is just a little easier for me sometimes. So the first thing I put down is this quarter box and I use that to mark that we watched the show Atypical on Netflix and we just kind of binged it that night. Um, the new season had come out so we were really excited because it's definitely one of our favorite shows. Above that I used a flag with a little grocery icon from Sunset Sticker Co. to mark that we went to grab some groceries at Sprouts really quick and then I put down a half box with an IEP flag. Um, you guys probably already know by now but that's from or planning to mark that I had another IEP on that day. On top of that, in the remaining space, I used another flag from The Giving Girl to mark a morning meeting that I had. Moving on to the weekend, I first started by placing down a couple washi strips at the top, um, but I didn't really like how the colors looked, and so I switched out one of the washi strips for another one that has that little pop of green, and then I placed down the weekend banner right on top of it. At this point, I decided to switch out the boxes on Tuesday and on Saturday, and honestly, I can't quite remember why I did that, but um, for some reason, I just felt like that was a better placement of the full boxes. Um, so I placed down the full box on Saturday and then moved to the bottom by placing down a three bow checklist with a washi strip on top of that. On the washi strip, I used this rose gold foiled bow from Stella Bow Sticker Co., I believe, and I used that to mark that it was one of our friend's birthdays, and we celebrated her birthday with her, which was really fun. Um, we went to a bar and so I pulled in this drink sticker from Plants with Vanessa to mark that. I then put down another header from Rose Color Days with a half box and on the half box I used this out and about sticker from Regina Laughs. Again that's from her fall bucket list sheet and I just love the really dainty designs that she uses. And then in the middle I put down this flag from The Giving Girl with a TV icon that came in the kit to mark that I watched The Office and did a little bit of editing on that day. 
Moving on to Sunday, I first placed down a Today header at the top and then I cut down another strip from the bottom washi that I did not use to create a little box. And then I pulled in this really tired girl sticker from Artbox stickers to mark that I was really hungover on Sunday. And honestly, I did not have very much to drink on Saturday, but I think I'm just getting old and it's just hitting me different these days, you know? Um, but anyways, underneath that, I put down a flag from The Giving Girl to mark that I filmed in the morning. Um, and then I decided to move to the bottom and work backwards again. For this week, it was just so much easier to do that. Um, at the bottom, I placed down a half box and then above that, I used an arrow sticker and a full box on top of that. I then decided to switch out the half box at the bottom because the design was a little bit too close to that full box. So I used this pumpkin one instead, which I think is so adorable. I switched out the Today header for a Rose Color Days lace header instead um, because I realized I wouldn't have a chance to use it otherwise. And then um, in the remaining space I had on Sunday, I placed down the strip of the foiled washi and used this bow sticker from Planning Like a Pro again to mark that I met up with one of my friends who happened to be in town. It was really nice to see her and we just kind of caught up on life. And then um, I continue with the day. So I placed down this little TV icon that's from the Sparkly Studio. And I use that to mark that I watch Gilmore Girls that night. And then on the half box, I used this fall baking sticker from Regina Laughs to mark that I actually made some chocolate chip cookies that night. They were so delicious. They were like super fluffy and super soft, just the way I like them. And yeah, I was really excited because I hadn't baked in a while. So it was definitely really fun getting to do that. And then um, that was it. For for this week. So I go ahead and move back to my sidebar. Um, I'm just tracking my happy moments and my dinners because let's be honest, the workout totally didn't happen. And um, I just write in all my date dots and show you guys these stickers that I have left in this kit. I do a quick viv wiggle to show you guys all the foiling in this kit. And then I go ahead and do a quick pan um, of the spread so you can just see a little bit better how it turned out. And I feel like it also helps to capture and highlight some of those foils because it's just so pretty. I really want you guys to be able to see it. So yeah, that is it for for the spread for today. I just love kits from Paper Blush Bar so much. They're always so gorgeous and dainty and her foiling is just perfect. So of course, I'm really happy with how this spread came out and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I just have a few more fall spreads to do and then we can jump into the Christmas stuff. So hopefully I won't be too behind. Um, as always, thank you so, so much for watching my video and for supporting my channel. You guys know I appreciate every one of you for joining me on this planning journey. So yeah, that is it for today. Day. I hope you guys all have a great week and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.